Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanted to show you how to upload panorama images on Instagram. And they're basically gonna look this way where you could swipe left or right on the image and see the whole image. If you do it the traditional way, this is what the image is gonna look like. It's gonna look very small. And if you have even a wider panorama, it's not gonna be able to be swiped left or right. And you're not gonna see much of the detail like you could see here with swiping left and right on this panorama. Let me show you how to create one using a free app and uploading it to Instagram. If it's your first time here, I make easy to follow Instagram and social media videos every single day of the week. So please consider subscribing. First, we wanna download a free app. So I'm in the app store here and it's called Unsquared for Instagram. Now there are a bunch of other apps that do the same thing, but this is my favorite one. So I'm gonna show you how to use this one. So press open on the app here. And you could either take multiple pictures here, but I have a picture in my camera roll. So I'm gonna go to my camera roll here and let me choose this option here. This is a different one than I have already posted on Instagram. So by choosing the camera roll, it's gonna let me press check mark. And now this is the option you have on the bottom. Next to the word done, there's an option that says three by default. If I press that and it's gonna let me divide this up to multiple pieces. So let's say if I wanted to do a four piece or even a five piece, you could see it's basically dividing your image up into that many images. So let me do in this case of this image, four looks really good. So let me choose four here. And if I wanted to move the image up and down, I could simply press and move the image up and down just underneath the squares. I'm just moving the image with my thumb here, but let me go ahead and press it and place it right here. And I could just press done when I'm all set. And all it did was it took that image and put four different image on my camera roll. So let me jump into my camera roll here. This was the original image here. And all it did was create four images for me. You could also do the same exact thing on Photoshop, but it's a lot more complicated. I'll make a different video on that if you wanted to use Photoshop, if you already have Photoshop. But now let's jump into Instagram here and let's go ahead and do a post. So I just press the plus sign to do a post and we can't just post one image here. We need to press the multi image post those two overlapping squares here. And now you could choose in the sequence of how you want the image to look. So one, two, three, four. That's how I broke up my image here. So one, two, three, four. Now if I press next, it lets me put a filter on the entire image, on the whole panorama, not just on one of these images. So I could put a filter if I want. I'll leave it on normal, press next. And as usual, write my caption and so on and press done here. And let me go ahead and share it to show you what it's gonna look like once it's all shared. So now, as you could see here, I could slide left and right here and see the entire image. This will have that little watermark in the corner on the fourth image, but I don't see it as a problem, especially since it doesn't show up on every single image. It's basically on the corner there. The option around that is not uploading the fourth or fifth image, the last image basically, or using Photoshop. But this is a really cool way to upload panoramas for free on Instagram. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so you never miss the next Instagram tutorial and I'll catch you next time. Thanks so much for watching.